hello hello my dear listeners welcome back to another episode of hearts unlocked if you are new here welcome to the family of hearts unlocked before we proceed to today's episode please do subscribe to my youtube channel hearts unlocked podcast follow me on my instagram channel tasty travel and talks for more content for those who are spotify fans you can listen to my podcast on spotify as well it's available at spotify hearts unlocked podcast please do follow me on spotify and give it a five star rating as it would motivate me to create more content for you guys i'm your host veronica and today's episode is l o v e yes you heard it right it's love today we are going to dwell into one of the most profound and universal experience of a human heart love well, love is actually a very complex emotion if i may say so uh but it has inspired countless songs poems movies and stories throughout history but what is love really i mean what is your definition of love obviously every single person will have their own definition of what love is um i guess i heard this podcast by jay shetty yes wherein jay shetty um version i mean not jay shetty's version to be more precise jay shetty told saying that um uh, people have different version of what love means uh one person's version can be like the person's a version can be like hey i love you till so and so date or maybe i love you until this situations come in picture or maybe i love you only for today or i love you forever you know something every single person's definition of love is different so what is your definition of love i mean i feel at a core love is all about connection the bond we share let it be family friends partners your pets also I mean, it's a feeling that we get when we look into someone's eyes, and you know that they truly understand you, and you feel safe and accepted around them. And sometimes, you know, love. We want what's the best for someone, someone else. and sometimes even more than ourselves we put someone else way before ourselves so i don't know if it's right or wrong you know everyone like not precisely everyone many of them say saying that love is nothing but you know you love yourself you have a life and he loves himself he have a life he has a life and you know you two combine together get together and it's a whole new different life you know that is what love is like sharing but maybe some old school definition of love or our grandparents definition of love would nothing but making a lot of sacrifices throughout like you know love means like i will cook for him forever whatever he likes i'll make sure i do whatever he likes always and forever see i i don't oppose to that i agree to that me don't you think this generation love birds are not doing that yes they do but it's all about sharing coming to a common ground as well it's not about only one person have to adjust always right you know if a woman can do both work and take care of the household at once a man could do the same that is love a man could help the woman with the household work or a woman could help the man with his finance or whatever it's vice versa both ways i mean it should be both ways 
okay now when we say i feel butterflies in my stomach so what is the first thing which comes into your mind like romantic love right but i have read this book i'm not sure exactly which book is that but i've read this book wherein that book says butterflies in your stomach is not always the right thing so sometimes having a butterflies in your stomach is good but sometimes having butterflies in your stomach it's like your gut feeling warning you that hey something is not right uh this book precisely says that when you for example you meet a person your love of your life or your better half or whatever is it when you f- meet that person you should feel calm you should feel you know to be like you know calm precisely mostly and you should feel yourself you should feel you know like transformative but it shouldn't be the other way around it shouldn't be draining it shouldn't be boring uh so sometimes the butterflies in your stomach they do warn you so i personally had this incident wherein um uh, whenever i used to meet my boyfriend now apparently ex i used to have this butterflies in my stomach and i always used to you know instantly text my friend saying that hey he said he's going to be up in like he's going to meet me in like 15 minutes and i'm already waiting in this place for him and i'm having butterflies in my stomach and this is the first time i'm having such a feeling so i am really not sure if it's right or wrong so my friend was like hey just enjoy the feeling maybe till now you know your love relationship wasn't right like you know it was not the right person maybe this time round it's the right person that's why you're feeling this kind of butterflies in your stomach and stuff so i kind of did listen to my friend and i was like okay yeah maybe true of course because as i said it was the first time i ever felt butterflies in my stomach so i'm like oh this is a weird feeling but at the same time hey it's a good feeling but uh at last it didn't end well um but yeah sometimes butterflies in your stomach doesn't mean that it's always right and it's a good feeling it's just a way of your body warning you saying that hey something is not right so again when i had a talk with my therapist regarding this she also said the same whatever the book said saying a butterfly in your stomach doesn't always mean that hey it's right so your body always has its way of warning you maybe energy getting drained after you meet this particular person or like you know you're getting body aches or you don't feel interested or butterflies in your stomach whatsoever so always listen to your body and you know your romantic love I mean, love of any sort should be exhilarating and sometimes challenging but challenging again in a good way challenging you to make yourself better and as i already said it should always be transform- transformative again to make yourself better so you know this is what again my therapist said like when you f- when you find the right person your body knows it you'll just glow and uh, you know when you find the right person you just feel calm you do not need to explain anything but which we actually do because of our past traumas we tend to like self sabotage ourselves or explain a lot or whatsoever but you know it's oh uh, when the right person comes into your life let it be him or her they will support you for all the things you do they will be by your side understand and how does your how does our friends always support us and be by our side the same way our romantic love him or her will always support you guys if he or she is the right person for you now apart from romantic love 
what do we have family love self love friendship love i mean you know friendship love is i feel it's the second best thing you can really have if you think that the first best thing is romantic love no please i didn't come to that first best thing yet i mean this is my version and obviously all of you will have your different versions of which love you are going to prioritize so friendship love i mean your friendship love stays with you forever like maybe it starts when you are 5 6 and sometimes you lose track of your friends you lose them you will not be in contact with them etc etc but there will be some friends wherein you stay with them forever i mean i am still in contact with my friends wherein they are like 16 years of friendship 20 years of friendship and we are still in touch we talk to each other so you know that love grows along with us grows with us you know when we are like kids like maybe when we are 3 or 4 or maybe 5 years how how do we even make friends i mean how did we even make friends the first thing was like oh you're sharing your chocolate with me you're my friend oh you supported me in so and so issue you're my friend or hey you shared your lunch box with me you're my friend that's how actually if i'm not wrong the friendship in the late you know a in the i mean not even late you know in entire 80s and 90s that's how the friendship actually was at the start but it actually grows with us the experience the trust the mutual support you have with each other I mean friends are family that we choose we choose them and the love we share with each and every single of them is unique and irreplaceable of course no one can replace the other person you know i have this friend um his name is ram and we actually lost touch uh like maybe it has been a couple of years but how many friends may just enter into my life but obviously no one can replace him he is the first ever friend i had when no i came here you know sometimes i feel you know every single person let it be a friend or let it be your partner everyone walks into your life to teach you something or the other some they just live their footprints and leave some stick with you forever the entire journey be with you share a bond and they will experience every single emotion with you isn't that lovely you know aren't friends are the first thing we reach out to you know hey i screwed this up and you started crying or hey i'm feeling low hey my boyfriend dumped me or hey my girlfriend cheated on me you know what are friends for each and every single thing we share i mean we just don't we don't have that fear of being judged because true friends don't he, we are humans we do make mistakes that's how we learn from it friends are there to warn us to get us into the right path or to be the partner in crime be with us in the wrong path and figure it out together that's actually a very special bond to be cherished forever you know i feel see family yeah family obviously they are family they will be there with you and your partner yes i mean after i don't know how many years like you know some people find their soul made at the age of 25 30 45 50 whatever there's no age for that so your soul mate enters into your life after a certain age like after 25 years a minimum or maybe after 16 years but your friend 
it's been with you like since the day you first enter into your new school like maybe at the age of three at the age of four that is when the first friendship arrives so there's something i mean i just don't know how to explain the feeling but it's something makes me feel calm makes me feel so blessed that i have friends who know how to treat me who knows what am i going through you know some of my friends i have a special connection to they just understand things without me telling them anything maybe if i go if i just talk to them normally i mean i act very very normal around people whom i don't want them to know what i'm going through but my special friends they'll just find my tears behind my smile my sadness behind my smile my anger behind my smile everything isn't that precious bond it is the next family love i mean the bond we share with our family is often the first experience of love of course I mean your mom loves you since the day she finds out that she's pregnant with you. This kind of love is the foundation of anything and it shapes your understanding and the connection you have. Obviously you know have you ever like you know obviously we fought with our siblings. We do. Does that mean we don't love our siblings? No, we obviously do. we fight we patch up we talk fight again patch up no that is common in family that is what family for right and next pets love in that love is truly unconditional i mean you just i mean i just fed a stray dog once and that too because you know i usually used to carry a box or to my university or college or whatever because i don't want to eat outside food a lot i restrict myself from eating outside food so that's i mean this was like a couple of years ago so i used to bring a box to college and sometimes um I tend to eat in my college cafeteria and obviously the box comes back home and you know mom's typical mommy is will be like hey why didn't you complete your lunch box so in order to avoid that so whenever i tend to miss or skip my lunch i used to feed the dogs near my university or feed the dogs near my home just that one meal it's not even a meal a day it's just one meal occasionally like once in a blue moon type of meal and that unconditional love the dog showed me it followed me till my house it always used to you know follow me wherever i go i go for a walk it follows me i go for my college waiting for my college bus it follows me till that spot and it waits till i get into my college bus and it exactly trust me it knows the time when and i'll be back home and it waits exactly where the spot my bus drops me and it walks with me home you know it's just because of just a few i don't know the food i gave them once in a while that love is actually unconditional you know they expect nothing from you apart from just you know a bit of your time and your love with them that's it i mean they never judge you you do make mistakes but in their eyes you're always perfect last but not least self love perhaps the most important love remember i tell you 
the first one is not yet this i feel there is a tie between pet love and self love they both stand first to me um okay uh i am not uh this is actually my version and obviously you guys will have your own different version of which is your first preference by all means share it in the comments what is your first preference self love pet love family friendship romantic love you know anything which is your first preference share it down in the comments and let me know which is your first preference so coming back to self love yet you know although it's the most important yet often overlooked yeah we just don't give ourselves the importance which we do to our pet our family our partner or our friends you know, loving ourselves means recognizing our worth forgiving our flaws and taking care of our own well-being isn't that important i mean your physical well-being is as important as your mental well-being i mean there is this old saying um stating that if people around you are happy you can find the happiness in them but and there there are still some people who believe in the same but i believe in otherwise i believe in the vice versa if you are happy that is when you can think straight if you can think straight you can make your family happy you can make your friends happy you can make your pet happy because you are thinking straight and you know what they want so it's time to change it like make yourself happy first make you the priority give yourself some credit i know we all do mistakes as i always say but forgive yourself for them when will you learn if you don't make mistake no one is mr perfect miss perfect mrs perfect or whatever no one are we learn from our mistakes making sure we do not repeat them if we repeat the same mistake twice that is when okay i agree you didn't learn the first time but i learned a lot from my mistakes you know my first ever relationship romantic relationship he used to control me of what i wear like no long earrings no long nails no nail polish i mean that is what i am that is what i love and back then i wasn't i feel that i wasn't strong enough to set my foot and tell him saying that hey this is me if you like it stay if not please leave the door is on the left you know now i feel confident i learned from my mistake now i can proudly say or i can proudly tell people what kind of guy i do not want at least i have learned from my past i don't want a person who steals my identity or i don't want a person who changes me into a whole new different person wherein i don't recognize myself isn't love supposed to bring the bright side of you even brighter rather than making the bright side of you dull so we will learn in one of the most beautiful aspects of love is the ability to evolve and adapt to it as we grow we do change and so do our relationships everything change you know let us take our friendship example you know as i just said you know our friendship in when we are 4 years old it's just like hey you shared a chocolate with me now we are my friend and now didn't we grow from it we did now we choose us we choose our friend wisely or we choose whom to trust whom not to trust 
whom to share our secrets with, whom not to share our secrets with. I mean, when we were young, we only used to have friend. This person is my friend, or this person is not my friend. Only two subcategories, but now we have a lot: best friend, close friend, friend, colleagues, or you know, all different types where we can classify things, and. obviously the boundaries best friend has whole new different boundaries than a colleague or than of just a friend or just a neighbor you know all these are different love teaches us patience empathy resilience what not everything it shows us the best part of ourselves and helps us navigate through our worst when you get the right person you can navigate through any worst trust me but first thing first you need to trust yourself you need to love yourself you need to believe in yourself okay now let us take a moment to reflect on the people we love and the different kinds of love that fills our life think about a friend that always make you laugh isn't that friend just knows it you know how to turn your sadness to happiness and a partner who always stands by your side no matter what when the whole world turns against you your partner is always by your side that is a good thing right or a family member who loves you unconditionally no matter what and the ways you show love to yourself the most important part right you know love is everything okay before we wrap up today's episode or uh, just take your time you know tell your loved ones how much they mean to you just spend time with your family and let them know how much their love means to you or just ring up your friend and you know just let them know always you know words they change a lot in everyone trust me and last but not the least please 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 love yourself more than you love anyone else self love is has important has you loving others your partner your friend your family anyone you know self love plays a major role trust me it took me so many years quite a long number of years to understand what self love actually is you know till date since the day i understand what self love is i take my time off during my week offs or during whatever time i have to dedicate it to self love i'll just sit maybe sing a song i love singing songs Uh, I'll just play a song in the background. I hum along to it. I sing along, or I dance to that song. Or maybe sometimes I just go alone to a movie, treat myself, go for bowling. I'll just play a couple of games and I read at home alone. No, I do that. Sometimes I just feel I just want to be alone at home. That is when I'll just grab a pen, a paper. write some stories novels which i usually do and sometimes i'll just grab my paint brush and paint whatever comes into my mind you know sometimes i'll just paint nothing gibberish you know just a couple of black lines brown lines all kind of dark lines and curves sometimes i paint like a girl sitting under a tree and meditating or sometimes i just paint a house sometimes i just paint a garden with a sun and a couple of birds you know it is not uh i mean it doesn't need to be a perfect painting it's just for you your time me time and whatever for you to let it out so it just it doesn't need to be perfect in any other's eyes if it's perfect in your eyes that's all you need Okay, thank you so much for joining this episode of Hearts Unlocked. Until next time, 
keep your hearts open and continue to unlock the beauty of love in any forms. Ta-ta, adios, bye-bye, take care, good night.